Hello, I'm Mrs Hall, nice to meet you all. I hope you're enjoying your evening of watching all of our videos. I'm here to talk about sport here at Nottingham Girls High School. So, as I said, I'm Mrs Hall and I'm the Director of Sport here. It's a really exciting job and I absolutely love it. I have a great team around me, as you can see from the PowerPoint that I'm just showing. I've got a number of PE staff, so Mrs Jefferson, who's our Head of Netball, Miss Abbott, who's the Head of House, and you'll get to know her because she won the inter-house sports competitions. Uh, Miss Salisbury, who delivers a lot of our A-level and our tennis programme. Alongside our PE staff, we have the outdoor learning team, and that's headed by Miss Whitehead. And also Miss King is part of that, and she runs the Duke of Edinburgh Awards, which you won't get to know about so early in your career here at NJHS, but you will do a lot um, of involvement in uh, Duke of Edinburgh as you get a little bit older. We don't just have the team here at school, we also have some external coaches that come and support our programme and they are amazing. Um, we link with places like Nottingham Trent University and we have Miss Wood that comes from there to help with our netball programme. We have Mr Smith who is a level three tumbling coach and comes to help and support our gymnastics programme. We have Joe Ashdown from Trent Bridge. He's coming into school really regularly, even throughout the winter, to help develop our cricket programme that's going from strength to strength. We also have other connections with local clubs and facilities like Kevin at the Squash Club at the park and Beckett Rowing Club down at the National Water Sports Centre. So we have a whole host of amazing people to deliver an amazing um, programme of sport for you when you get here. Now, in terms of communication, we have some really good systems set up and they are ways that we communicate with mums and dads and also with the girls themselves. And one of the ways is through Twitter. And you'll see here um, we have an at NGHSPE Twitter account. Now, you don't need to be a Twitter follower or a Twitter member to access Twitter. You can just put at NGHSPE in a Google um, page and it will find it and you'll be able to access the page as you can see there. And we tweet really regularly, keeping people updated about what we're getting up to, all the exciting stuff, whether it's raining, um, and also it's a way of communicating about fixtures. So sometimes we might tweet that we're running a bit late, we're stuck in traffic and so on and so forth. So this is a great one for parents and girls. And as the girls get older, um, they might also um, have a little look at our Instagram page too, which is also followed really closely by the school community and enjoy enjoys a lot of feature of our work and our activity. As you can see here, we have a different way of communicating as well when it comes to things like fixtures. Uh, we have an app that's called Evolve Sport and we link this to our team sheets, to all the communication about our matches and you can have it on your phones, the girls can have it on their iPads and it tells you everything you need to know about a fixture that your daughter might be involved with, um, where it is, what time it is and so on and so forth and also our results go on there. So it's a great bit of uh, software and wonderful at making sure that everyone knows exactly what's going on and people are safe and happy. Moving on, in terms of the opportunities, well, as a school, we're really proud of the creative and progressive opportunities that we provide. We also have some really long-standing, wonderful reputations in certain sports. So if I take netball, for example, we have a head of netball, Miss Jefferson, and she leads our netball programme. And we have some huge successes in netball, both at national level, regional level, and county and local level. We have high rates of attendance in all years groups, all the way through to sixth form, and it's our favorite sport here at Nottingham Girls High School. It's great fun to be a part of. Other sports that we really enjoy and we advocate are our hockey program. You can see here lots of girls involved in our hockey too, and we even work in conjunction with hockey groups such as MT13 to set up camps that the girls can engage in on inset days and during the holidays and so on. And you can see a picture there in the middle um, of some famous hockey players that our girls have got to meet through connections that we've made over the years. So that's also an exciting sport to get involved in if you haven't done already here at Nottingham Girls High School. Some of our other sports that are doing some brilliant development work with um, is our cricket and football programmes. Um, now in cricket we've become regional winners in football we've got to national finals and just been pipped at the post on two occasions in the independent schools competition um, it's been a great achievement but as you can see it's not just for a minority of girls it's for a huge number of girls and it even stretches into our junior school you can see the all-stars program with the big star um, in the bottom left there 
we're really proud of our developing cricket and football and we recognize how how um, the movement of women's sport and girls sport into these areas is growing so quickly um, and we wanted to get on board and we're really leading the way here in Nottingham City to do that and it's fantastic it's really exciting Moving on, we have lots of um, other sports that we participate in and compete in as well, if that's for you. And lots of individual sports, so uh, things like cross-country running, swimming, you can see our gymnast down on the bottom left. We've been involved in many dance competitions and showcases. And the one day, that picture you can see, are our girls actually uh, performing at Pineapple Studios down in London. We run badminton clubs and all sorts of um, different sports alongside the bigger programmes that you've seen already. And I just want to mention as well the sports that we will um, take part in and give you opportunities in in the summer. So we've got athletics, we've got rounders, we've got cricket, we've got tennis and just in the middle there a couple of photos of our girls in the rowing boats down at home Pierpont. We have a fantastic rowing program and the girls actually get to do that in their curriculum in year seven so you guys will get to have a go which is so exciting um, and if you enjoy it you can very easily and very quickly become a regular rower and join the Beckett Rowing Club which is linked to Nottingham Girls High School and um, get involved with regular training and regattas very very quickly. It's, uh, it's a super program that we have. Alongside the PE and the sport work, as I said before, we have a staffing team that deliver our outdoor learning programme. So things like climbing are accessible here and something that you can get involved in from year seven and above. You can see we've got um, an exploration society club and there's girls up to all sorts of things in the pictures that you can see. We also do things like fire pit Fridays. We have outdoor learning trips. We have archery. There's a whole host of exciting and very different um, sporting opportunities for you to get involved in. So you can mix it up as much as you like, try lots and lots of things and really, really give it a go. Moving on, thinking about your year seven programme of study, so what you will actually have in your lessons when you come and join us in September. Well, I'm really excited to share with you, as you can tell, all the different activities that we do. So yes, we cover the netball and the hockey, the cricket and the football. We do tennis and um, athletics, gymnastics and dance. I've mentioned the rowing that you'll get to do in the summer term. And there's a whole host of exciting things that we do throughout the year. Every now and then we'll have um, drop down kind of uh, weeks or days for sport where you'll try some outdoor learning activities, perhaps. or we'll have a go with an external coach who's coming in. We've done that with squash many times and so on. So throughout the year, you'll get a really good broad range of activities. And then you can follow those up with coming to our enrichment clubs. And as you can see, this is from the year when we hadn't been impacted by COVID. So I wanted to show you this example of how busy it can be. And if you are wanting to, every lunchtime you could be involved in a sports club in some way, shape or form. And our sports clubs sometimes take place in the mornings, sometimes at lunch times, or mostly at lunch times. Um, and then there are um, opportunities for competitions in the afternoons and after school. And some of our clubs run after school as well that you can get involved in. So this is Friday there. Look, we don't even give up as it comes to the weekend. We still keep things going, which is really, really cool for you. Last few things. I do want to mention the competition side of the sport. We have a, such a unique wonderful opportunity um, within the GDST for our girls to get involved in sport at that level. The network of the GDST allows us to compete against 25 other schools from around the country. So we do travel to places like Bromley, Northampton, Newcastle, and we go and compete against other GDST girls and really enjoy those opportunities. So there's lots of rallies in different sports and it's not just the netball and the hockey. Um, we also have competitions in cross country and swimming and all of the other sports that I've mentioned already. So there's a really broad range. The GDST also have weekends of sport that you can participate in by joining our team. So one of them in, in Shropshire, the Condover Hall one for netball and one in Bath for hockey, which is um, all for key stage three. So year seven, year eight, year nine. Um, and we also, as you get a little bit older, offer you opportunities to come and tour the sports abroad. So you can see here we have um, a hockey tour, uh, a tour to Cyprus for netball, a tour to football for Barcelona, and these happen sort of every 
two years, dependent on COVID, obviously. They've got a little bit of a halt at the moment, but we're soon going to get them back up and running. And we also have um, some senior tours where we go a bit further afield. So when you get older, and uh, if you uh, want to aspire to join us, you can come to somewhere like Antigua for a netball tour, which is in the Caribbean. That's a wonderful experience. And also we are um, hoping to facilitate the start of a rowing tour as well, um, which we had to postpone because of COVID. But that's going out to Portugal for our senior girls. So lots and lots and lots going on. Now, you don't have to be a sporting star to join us in sport here and not to go girls high school we encourage everybody to get involved to get active but one thing we do like to recognize in a sports awards evening we really do make a big deal about everyone who comes and participates and also we make a big deal about the excellence in our sporting stars and as you can see we recognize girls from city level all the way through to international level we're very proud of their achievements so ladies come and join us come and get involved and I will see you really really soon if you have any other questions if I've not answered something and you'd like to know about it then please do uh, get mum or dad to email me take care see you in September bye bye